Okay, I'm gonna show you how to replace uh, front rotors and brakes, the whole kit uh, for a Honda 2006 Odyssey. So all the tools you're gonna need is a little pan to catch all the the fluid that you're gonna be cleaning, the brake fluid, and um, a 19 millimeter uh, wrench, a 14 uh, millimeter socket, and the and the ratchet. Uh, so you can lose this uh, 14 here from the caliper and one here on the bottom right there and the two on the back right here are 19 so try to lose them for the bracket right there and so the two you is a brake cleaner a couple of brushes to clean the brackets and the where the pad sits and back in play right here and some towels shop towels and um, uh, the 19 millimeter uh, socket for the bolts right here in the back and if you get lucky maybe a Phillips to, 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 take, to take out the these two screws that are attaching holding the, the rotor and if not, then you have to use a puncher. And pretty much that's it. So I'm gonna install, uh, I'm gonna go this time with these uh, fancy rotors, which are premium, magnetic brand. Um, I pay about 170 ish for the pair, for the front only. And as you can see, the one on the right side, which is the passenger side, it, ha it is marked with the letter here, with the sticker, which means right side. And the driver side uh, has an L, which means left hand uh, driver side. So don't put it wrong. Uh, they look the same, but what it changes is uh, the vent. Uh, let me show you. This uh, little right here, those little uh, bends right here. So, so right to the right, left to the left, and I'm gonna go with the um, set of uh, Akebono brake uh, pads, and it has um, it has all the hardware in it. The hardware, even the pins. See so, like a bono brand. Some of the best uh, brake pads out in the market right now. And so, I'm just gonna go ahead and show you where to start. I'm gonna go ahead and. So, this is a, a 40 millimeters. So I already loosened. You see the little nut right here holding the um, this the, the pin slide. Um, the slide pin um, is kind of like moving at the same time, so so that's why the the range kind of to hold it the same spin. Right here, and one on the bottom, which is right here. That's for your caliper. I'm gonna loosen. So two, try to uh, uh, pull like back in the same uh, same order. So then, sometimes if you put it like on the other way, the other way around, so the the threads are already like. Um, build up their own uh, way so sometimes it's kind of hard to put them uh, uh, where they not used to be so this is the caliper right here yes keep 
going to match my phone. Yes. here I'm gonna go ahead and go get my uh, bungee core and probably place this somewhere here it's not too not too long the, to hold the caliper. So, just like that. So that you don't put any any um so you don't uh, mess up your brake line right here. And so right here in the back I already lose my this is the caliper okay so this is where the pad sits you see right there so remember, one pad goes this way, and the one that has the little uh, sensor level, the little bracket right here, goes on the bottom right here. So don't put it backwards. Don't put it like that, okay? But this was, this mainly goes on the back, like behind. It goes down. So, so these brakes, my brakes are still okay, kind of okay, but they were like squeaking and vibrating my my steering wheel it was vibrating when i was going downhill so so and i checked my driver's side rotor and it's a little bit uh of uneven like you see little those little grooves right there on the other side you uh, i go through my finger here and it's it feels like kind of like warped so so this is the bracket for uh, your pads in order to to take out the rotor, the, this bracket has to come out. So this is a 19. I already took it out. You see the bracket is right here. See right there, the hole right there. So it matches right there. And it goes, it comes like out like that. And same thing right here on the back. You see right there. This is your bracket right here. See, see right there. So just take out this one right here and, and voila you see this is my bracket so at this point you see the rotor is exposed already no no caliper no bracket so it should be able to come out but in order to come out I need to lose uh, these two bolts right here which I don't think is gonna be any easy to to take out with this uh, screwdriver but I'm not gonna give it a shot so I'm gonna put my phone down and then, uh, and then I'll, show, I'll, I'll show you so I'm gonna use my puncher I'm gonna use my puncher and uh, to lose this because we're a little bit like stubborn so what you do is just put your puncher right here with the uh, hammer or whatever it's called this thing just uh, if you don't have this you just use a hammer it doesn't matter uh, just pound it right here in the back and as you pound on one side with the other hand just hold it and then you just twist so then uh, so they break loose so as you can see they're they will be loosened it took me like many minutes or less to you see all the rust behind it. And one more right here. And as you can see, the roller is moving loose. So there's one. 
Listo. Eh, I should be able to take out my water. Right there. Voila. I'm, so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, spray some uh, brake cleaner with, um, around this area. And then on the back here, back in plate. And clean the gun right here on the back where my pad sits and my caliper. Uh, where the pistons are right there. I'm gonna clean with the little blade all the boost too. So then when I compress this back in place, um, this gun doesn't stay there. It doesn't go all uneven. Okay. So this is the setup for my uh, uh, caliper to compress the pistons. Um, as you already I clean here, so there's not too much gunk. And um, so you just you can use one of the the old pads that you're gonna be throwing away. So just put through the through this little slab right here your caliper compressor thing and. Uh, and just uh, do one at a time, uh, maybe like a, a couple of turns, so they go evenly at the same time, so you don't put too much stress in the pistons, and make sure you don't uh, you don't spill uh, brake fluid on your and your reservoir, and um, and then I'll show you when it's done. Uh, I'm done uh, compressing my piston. As you guys can see, uh, I finished compressing my, my caliper pistons. Take this thing out. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do some more cleaning here on the caliper. Outside, see all the gunk. I'm gonna use a little blade to scrape all this junk that has in here. Um, I'm gonna use a little uh, the clean degreaser. It's a wire brush. this I'm gonna clean it with brake cleaner so this is easier and it dries faster so I'm just gonna keep cleaning here and I don't have to show you this okay guys I'm done cleaning the hardware and um, the caliper I don't need to, I'm just gonna clean this uh, bracket I don't have to clean the little hardware I got a new, new hardware, and um, so one thing you always want to make sure you don't uh, mix your brake pads, like always compare them, see, you're gonna go like that, and make sure the new ones are the same, same size, So those ones are gonna be for the right side, which is the passenger side, working on the front rotors and brakes. So I'm just gonna go ahead and, uh, and start uh, putting this thing back together. Okay, guys, this is my bracket right here. I took off already one of the uh, hardware. And this is a new one just to show you how to take it off and then uh, the uh, one pair for uh, for each uh, brake rotor so those ones doesn't matter they're all the same um, 
just make sure um, you see this little so just pretend that the rotor is gonna be spinning right here in the middle so make sure you don't put it backwards I, mean, I don't think you can put it backwards but like they go like that so to practice like that so just take one at a time put it back so then you don't mess it up and and it's not too hard to figure it out even if you don't know what how you took it out so at this point i'm gonna put this one right here let me see if i can show you i'm gonna try to hold my phone Here's my bracket. See here's my bracket right there. The little groups right there with these little things are gonna set. So you pretty much just go this thing right here. This little little right here where my finger is, just put in between there. Voila. So pretty much this is where your uh, brake pads are gonna go in, right here. You see right there, that way, and this and and this way. So that's where your pads are gonna be sitting. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take this one. Let's see. kind of blurry but anyways this is my my, my uh, hardware so I'm just gonna go ahead and um, put everything back in place okay now it's now it's time to uh, put my rotor my rotor back so just make sure um, you guys line up these holes with this pump right here so you can put you can secure your rotor see right there those two with those two they have the little concave thing so not this one this one's hard like two in case the rotor is too stuck then you can use two screws and use them but these ones are to secure your your rotor with this uh, little two screws just make sure you you line up this uh, where the stop goes and with the other uh, screw which is this one right here so I'm gonna go ahead and Tricking, recording with one hand and working with the other hand. <laughs> I have it. I I have a tripod, but I haven't had a chance to use it, so I'm recording just on my cell phone. And sometimes it tends to move too much because. Let's 
see it's really nice and flush with it. I, I uh, put the, the hardware here on the clip on the bracket and then you need to loop, loop the slide pins so they uh, they retrieve from uh, like that so if you don't loop them then most most likely your brakes uh, pads are gonna wear uh, uneven so this is what I'm trying to say when it breaks this thing has to retrieve by itself so by lubing them with grease which is this is product I'm using um, it helps the, the little boot to retrieve so I mean the the pins line so what you do is just where am I right here okay so this little Loop, little boot just kind of like with a little uh, screwdriver flat screwdriver just uh, take out the, the, the spin, spin like the light spin see right there so this is uh, already loop so we just go ahead and see trying to use my foot to so once you get to go just there you go you see and you see, should be able to. There we go. So I'm gonna do a little bit of the other one, and I'm just gonna go ahead and do my uh, install my my bracket and then my my pads. Okay, guys, I already installed my bracket right here. See that. So I put back my two. 19 millimeter bolt right there with the bracket. See right there. So I torque them with 101 foot pounds, that's what it calls. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put my my uh, caliper and those two 14s. Uh, it calls for 37 uh, foot pounds. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put my caliper in my pads. The brake pads are going in. So right here on this part right here, with my fingers right there. Just press towards the back, and same here, and just push that way, and then you brake pad goes can goes in really really easy. You see right there. So it should be sitting flat, as you can see. Uh, let me point it out with my screwdriver. So see right here, the the, uh, the pad meets the rotor, nice and flat, even. So just put a little light to a coat of um, uh, break break quiet, so then. Uh, so then they don't squeak. So I just put there where the caliper from inside is gonna be sitting on the pads. And I'm gonna do the same thing with only with the with the rotor. With the rotor uh, sit right there. I'm just gonna go ahead and put a light bulb. So do the same thing when the when the one on the back and we should be almost done. Okay, so the clipper bracket is on. So you can see I put my pins to um, hold my brake pads. So you, what you have to do is just hold on one hand right here, and with your right hand, uh, put the caliper on. So otherwise, these uh, pins they're gonna like push out the brake pads. 
so I'm just gonna go ahead that and put my caliper and torque those 14 uh, to 14 millimeters uh, bolts to 37 pounds uh, compress uh, just uh, press my brake pedal like a few times till it gets hardened and and work on my driver's side uh, brake uh, job so, so what I did is uh, my left hand pressing down the, the pads so then the springs wouldn't like pop out the, the pads out of place and then uh, hold it with your right hand line up your uh, bolt on the, on the top and then once you're done here just lower slowly your caliper down and match this bolt right here which are is already in and as you can see your uh, pens for your um, for your pads are in place as you can see both so and I can see the pads are like nice and even against the rotor so I'm just gonna go ahead and tie up these two um, uh, 27 uh, foot pounds compress my pedal and then uh, so what it does this is uh, helps out to when you're not braking so the pads to to open so they're not like like rubbing against the rotor if so and so that's the main thing so so by now I should be pretty much uh, done and ready with uh, the right side which is the passenger side and I'm just gonna go ahead and torque uh, this thing and the, uh, the caliper and go ahead and put the wheel to 94 uh, foot pounds and then start working on my driver side okay guys I'm working on the driver side now and I just wanted to point it out that I can emphasize that uh, always lube your uh, slider pins and then um, and then look for any uh, work page um, especially if your brakes were like wearing uneven uh, if not then you have to uh, if you see any uh, work page on your uh, or any wear out on your uh, slider pins that you can you have to replace them but and then uh, so also for the I forgot to mention on the other side uh, for your brake pads like just uh, what is this right here just put a little bit of uh, this uh, material the lubricant so then so they can slide in and out easily and also uh, for your uh, for your 14 and also for your uh, 19 bolts uh, before you put them in just put a lock tight so then the blue uh, lock tight so then to make them uh, very secure talking to the right specifications and that, that's all things are uh, and just clean pretty much everything like where everything is gonna be uh, like rubbing metal to metal or attaching so there is no grease or there is no uh, brake dust or whatever uh, gunk is, is being building up through the time the car has been braking so so those are things, the things I just wanted to point it out okay I'm just gonna keep working on my on my last uh, roto okay guys I'm done working on the front roto brake job uh, on this car so after you're done putting everything back together um, you need to it is a must to go dry test the, your work your brakes I just did it myself and I drove um, a few miles and you may want to like 
start speeding a little bit like 20 to 30 miles and then like brake but don't brake like really hard on on the pads just go slowly where the brake pads are like like barely like touching the rotor surface so then they they start creating their their path on on the rotor as you can see right there um, so then they uh, they don't uh, they don't create the those groups and and, and they start breaking uneven so just go gradually little little by little uh, 20 40 and then 50 60 it depends how you you do you like to adjust your brakes but um, just be safe that you don't start like speeding like 60 70 miles per hour and then then once you want to want to start braking then you break uh, something goes wrong with it so very be safe start braking little by little and don't break too hard so in time the pads and the rotors they're gonna start and they uh bedding it uh onto each other so so that's it for the job today uh you guys if you have any questions let me know so i didn't show you the driver's side but it's pretty much the same concept so if you have any questions guys uh, let me know and i may be able to help you out all right thanks thanks for watching